a tale, tale of two, two trials. trials. Twelve acts, acts of domestic, domestic violence, violence, including sexual including violence. Sexual violence. We, we weren't, weren't allowed to tell the jury that. The, the op-ed op never even mentioned, mentioned Mr. Depp. Depp. You have to remember, demonized Amber. It was like, like the Roman, Roman Coliseum. When, when I told him, him that he had you, kicked he you, cried. he cried. He I am so, so sorry. To, to all, all these those women, women out there. This major is a setback set for back. women. Mm -hmm. For, for all women inside the courtroom and outside the courtroom. Outside the courtroom. The courtroom. Because. Guys. 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 Listen. I'm convinced that Amber's lawyer is Amber from the future. Hear me out. So she recently did two interviews. I'm telling you, she acts just like Amber. She's answering questions as if she's reading off a script because in both interviews, she says the exact same things. This is the sign of a sore loser right here. It's funny because when the TMZ employee came on to be a witness, Elaine was accusing him of wanting 15 minutes of fame. Yet here she is, right after the whole trial, going on TV to talk about the trial. Like, whoa. We did also reach out to Johnny Depp's team, but they declined to be interviewed this morning. I wonder why. Maybe it's because they're moving on, which is what she should be doing. You should accept the outcome of the trial, you're lost, and just move on with your life. Yeah, it's gonna suck. You're probably gonna go bankrupt. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna suck. You're probably bankrupt. This seems to be a huge victory for Johnny Depp this morning. Yeah, a major setback for women. Mm -hmm. For women inside the courtroom and outside the courtroom. Why is this whole thing gender specific? I thought this whole entire thing was about DA and DA victims can be men or women. So why is it a setback for women? I think it's a setback for liars. Because? Because basically what this said, it, you know, Amber had an enormous amount of evidence. What? So although a lot of it was suppressed in this case. What evidence? Yeah, you mean this evidence? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's was, there was mountains of that. Mountains of bullshit. And basically what this jury said is unless you pull out your cell phone and you tape record your spouse beating you, they did not believe her. A lot of that was that it was Johnny Depp. Uh, I think the celebrity status. But she's a celebrity too. And Sounding a lot like Amber now, aren't you? People are gonna come out of the woodwork to defend him. Wow, what a way to discredit the hard work that the jurors have put into this trial. They, they have had to sit there and listen to your trash for about six weeks as well. So I don't know, give him some credit. All the evidence came in in the UK. He had his opportunity to tell the <laughs> truth then. He had his chance to tell the truth there and he lost. First of all, in the UK trial, it was there was a judge and not a jury. Okay, the judge made the final decision. Jury it makes more sense leaning towards public opinion i don't know how the justice system works in the uk but it can easily be flawed the judge found 12 yeah. acts of domestic violence including sexual violence we weren't allowed to tell the jury that they're just there to observe the case the problem here is that you didn't present your case well enough for the jury to believe you if you're saying that the judge found 12 cases of this da and sa where was the evidence for it how can the judge have come to this conclusion? You must have somehow convinced him, right? So where's the evidence that proves that? Yeah, I'm on and I'm... You know, in this case, the jury not only didn't believe Amber Heard, but in ruling that she acted with actual malice, that means she had the intent to cause harm, right? That's a pretty high standard to have proven. And it's pretty amazing since the op-ed never even mentioned Mr. Depp. You have to remember that. What That's not the point, though. The trial is defamation. So we're just trying to prove that Amber wrote the article. She even admits it herself. So for you to be saying that, oh, his name wasn't even mentioned. In it, bro, it's not about whether the name was mentioned or not. It was proven that it was about Johnny. Your client is the one who proved it. So your argument is invalid. Just... <laughs> <laughs> so here we had, not only did we have a group of Depp fans that were there every day, a hundred were allowed in, they lined up at one o'clock in the morning for their wristbands to be in that courtroom. <laughs> Wait, what? One o'clock in the morning? You're telling me people pull up at 1 a.m.? I don't think anyone is out there issuing wristbands at 1 in the, in the morning. It's not like the new Jordans just got released and people are camping outside. Yo, the new J Sparrow 5000s just got released, G. Are we lining up at the court to suss up here? Even if there was hundreds of Johnny Depp fans pulling up, yo, first of all, where's your hundreds of Amber Heard fans, huh? And it's not like there aren't any Amber Heard supporters. I've seen them online. So why aren't they doing the most like these Johnny Depp fans and pulling up to show support and after a hard loss it's easy to wake up and point to the other side 
Oftentimes, I realized the better thing to do was to look in the mirror. What mistakes did I make as a player? What mistakes did our coaching staff make? And then how can we improve from there? Do you feel like you guys made any mistakes along the way? Do you feel like Amber made a mistake while she was on the stand? Because you're saying it's the celebrity, it's Johnny, it's the, it's the people who support him. But what about you and your team? Well, and, and that's an excellent question. And to say, and, and you know, Amber even said on the stand, I am not perfect. I am a human being. These people were giving her death threats. They threatened to microwave her baby. This is the kind of social media she was getting. Bruh, she Amber herded that question. She answered the question by not answering the question. It's still putting Amber as the victim, saying she's getting death threats. And answer the question. Like, what do you think went wrong? I'll tell you what went wrong. Amber was lying and you were helping her do so. So are any of us perfect? No. Is there something else we feel we should have done? Yes, I, I, absolutely. I, I always, I redo my closings a hundred times afterwards, whether I win or lose. Ain't no way. Hey. Guys, do you really think she redid her closing statement a hundred times after she lost? But I think that there were a lot of influences here that were beyond our control. And I think the social media, it, it was like a Roman Colosseum. It is, is the best way to describe the atmosphere here. Again, this is what Dr. Curry was talking about. It's that impressionistic speech where you're just uh, embellishing and adding all these crazy details, which is what Amber was doing. But it seems like she's doing it too. How are you going to compare a courtroom to a Roman Colosseum? Like, objection. This is beyond the scope of the fucking question, dude. Like, what? And I have to believe that the jury, even though they're told not to go and look at anything, we have, you know, they have weekends, they have families, they have yeah, they were not media. sequestered. They were not sequestered. And, and the ten-day you know, period we had, okay. how could they not? have been influenced. And wow, there she goes, cutting off the interviewer, which is what Amber's great at. And but she just discredited the jury again by saying they probably went on social media and saw how everyone was hating on Amber and everyone's team Johnny Depp. You just sound like such a sore loser to come on national television and vent and tell the world that look, Amber was the victim and the jury was unfair because they were going on social media and being swayed by all the Johnny Depp supporters and because Johnny Depp is such a big big celebrity that they decide to side with him and in all honesty they don't actually believe where he was the victim but we're just gonna say that because of what everyone else is saying what the public opinion on social media is saying dude it's exactly what the other interviewer had just said sometimes you have to look at yourself and see the mistakes that you made but she couldn't even list a single mistake i could list a few maybe don't talk about muffins don't stop maybe turn your mic on when you're trying to speak bro. that it, they mutually abused each other do you not believe that that was the case? No, and, and that's one of the many misnomers. The way that Depp's team approached this was based on ignorance of domestic violence. Ignorance of the what? Okay, first of all, I want to point out that, like I said again, this this trial was about defamation, so it's purely based on the Washington op-ed, right? In the op-ed, Amber speaks about DA and SA. Okay, so technically, when we're talking about abuse within the op-ed we're only talking about those two types of abuse okay obviously other types of abuse exist however when it comes to this op-ed those are the two that were mentioned however later on in the trial amber heard's team decided to go with the fact that if johnny had abused her only once whether it be physical sexual psychological emotional then he loses no not really because this isn't abuse charge this is about defamation so we have to go with the facts we have to go with the evidence that is present does she not listen to the evidence amber literally admitted on a recording that she hit him that is and uh, we even had more evidence we had medical records we had mental health records you don't have any medical records because amber herself admitted that she never sought out medical treatment so you're lying people like this they just prefer to blame other people than themselves i guess amber made a right choice to hire ju just as crazy of a person to be her lawyer right which is what you see what i mean this is her from the future okay she's struggling from the bankruptcy and she's like yo okay i'm gonna use every last resource i have to find someone a time traveler take me back in time and i'm gonna defend myself and win this game <laughs> that now everyone thinks that this whole trial is going to become a movie but i think there now that that's a movie. <laughs>
We had text messages from Mr. Depp's assistant saying, when I told him that he had kicked you, yeah. he cried. So how that is she today? Bro, that's hearsay. That's not Johnny speaking or Amber speaking. That's Johnny's assistant speaking. So how can you prove that that was true? Bro, I... Man, you're supposed to be a professional lawyer. Her next move is appeal. There were but a she's number. she's heartbroken. And she is heartbroken. And one of the first things that she said when she came back from the verdict, when we went into the conference room, was, I am so sorry to all these women. That's, she said that? Yes. She felt like she had let down all of these women. More like, I ain't going to pay you unless you set things right at this interview. All right, tell them I am the big... <laughs> Like, at first I felt sorry for Elaine because, you know, she's doing her best with the least amount of evidence possible. But now, I don't know what to believe, man. This is... <sighs> and we are joined now by Amber Heard's attorney. Yeah, you see that cheeky look? That's the classic Amber Heard look at the jury look, baby. <laughs> I am so sorry to all those women out there. This is a setback. And we weren't allowed to tell the jury this, but the court found that Mr. Depp had committed at least 12 acts of domestic violence, including sexual violence against Amber. The op-ed didn't even mention Mr. Depp by name, you know, and that's because she was demonized here. Same thing over and over again. Uh, it's, it's not even worth my time to watch. Do what? you think that had an effect on the case? Absolutely. You think jurors were aware of it? How can you not? They went home every night. They have families. The families are on social media. There's no way they couldn't have been influenced by it. Oh, my God. Just disgusting. Still blaming the jury. Sounds just like Amber, doesn't it? Like, they can't be doing anything wrong. It must be Johnny. It must be Johnny's team. It must be the juror. It must be the witnesses. Count out someone that doesn't want to be helped, right? It, it really, really was lost. <laughs> I appreciate your saying that. It's like the Roman Colosseum. Again with the damn Colosseum, bro. <laughs> Is she able to pay a $10.4 million judgment? Oh, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> Yo, Elaine, you just did Amber dirty, man. You doxed her. She can't pay $10.4 million. She's broke. She broke, bitch. She ain't paying for shit. <laughs> this would have been all good if you had just paid your $7 million to the two charities. All I can say is you got to take your L's graciously. Maybe you should just move on with your life. Does your client want to appeal? Oh, absolutely. And she has some excellent grounds for it. Oh, shit. Here we go again. It's done. It's done.